Welcome back to the channel, I'm Racky Ryan. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only. There is some news that we need to talk about immediately, and this news could send stocks in a certain industry higher. The news is still going on today. We're going on the fifth day of this problem. So what is going on? Stick around, I'm going to talk to you and let you know exactly what's going on, the stocks that could be affected, so all I ask in return is you hit that like button. So recently a gigantic ship turned sideways in the Suez Canal. And while this could be the butt of a lot of jokes, it also could be an opportunity to make some money. The Suez Canal is a shipping canal in the Middle East, which controls a lot of the world's oil supply. And the extremely large ship, which is blocking the canal, is on its fifth day of being sideways. Basically, this is threatening the world's oil supply, and the price of oil could spike in the near future. And if the price of oil spikes, then this could lead to more revenues for oil companies, which could lead to oil stocks going up in value. Some oil stocks to look into are ExxonMobil, Shell, Hunk Phillips, Chevron, and Occidental Petroleum. These companies got crushed during the pandemic because the demand for oil was low during the pandemic. However, now that the supply is being affected, this could lead to the price of oil increasing. The way that the supply economics chart works is a higher demand leads to a price increase or a lower supply leads to a price increase. I'm looking into options on these stocks to see if there's call options that are being put on these oil companies because people are thinking that this is going to increase the price of the stocks. Now I know you might be thinking this is only a short term event, but let's not forget all the things that the oil industry influences. For example, in the room that you're currently in, wherever you are, or if you're outside, just take a look around. Almost everything, literally everything that you see has been infected by hydrocarbons. Okay, so I pulled up a list here of products that were made from petroleum. And that's what I mean by hydrocarbons. We have solvents, ink, upholstery, bicycle tires, dresses, cassettes, tires, nail polish, boats, motor oil, bearing grease, perfumes, shoe polish, soap, shoes. This list gets really long. I mean, it's 6,000 items that are just on this list right here. Mops, yarn, plastic wood, could be your desk, could be where you're sitting. The majority of things in this world are made with oil. Whether it's produced by a machine that uses oil in order to manufacture it, or it actually has some sort of oil or petroleum based substance in the product. Oil and gas is something that is heavily used in this world and is not really going anywhere in the near future. I know that we're moving towards clean energy, solar, green infrastructure. However, the majority of the world still relies on oil and gas. Also, there is a reopening in the world. So beyond this shipping issue, we have a larger oil demand. There's going to be a lot more people that are going to be flying. There's a lot more people that are going to be driving with summer coming up. There's going to be a lot more people that are going to be using oil just in general because the economy is starting to open back up. So beyond this just being a shipping issue, the price of oil could increase because the demand is happening. So you have the supply decreasing and the demand increasing, which could lead to this perfect storm, which could lead to the oil price shooting up a lot in the near future. And if oil prices shoot up a lot in the near future, then we're probably looking at oil stocks shooting up as well. These are just my thoughts and I wanted to start a discussion. So if you have any comments, please leave them below because I generally want to know what you guys think. I respond to all of my comments and I'm really interested to see what you have to say. Now let's take a look at the call options activity on some of these stocks. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull up some options chains here. So the first one I'm gonna pull up is ExxonMobil. So looking at the, here we go. So looking at the 416 option chain on ExxonMobil near the money, we're seeing that there's a lot more open interest on the 57.5 call than there is on the 57.5 put. So more people are buying the calls than they are the puts. And we're seeing overall there's just a lot more open interest in general on the call side than there is the puts. So now let's look at Chevron, CVX. So Chevron Corporation. Oh yeah, we're seeing a ton more call options here at the 110 call versus the 110 put. Let's look up COP, which is ConcaPhillips. Again, at the 55 call for 416, April 16th which is about you know three weeks out, 19 days to expiration. We're looking at almost double the amount of calls on ConocoPhillips than puts. Let's look at Oxy. Again, a lot more calls on Oxy. Let's look at RDS, which is Shell. RDS.A, I believe. Yeah, Royal Shell. 
So this we're seeing about even on the 40 calls and puts and there is more calls on the 41 calls. This could be because Shell is a lot more diversified and has a lot of clean energy and green world type infrastructure plays. So the other four though, ExxonMobil, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, and Oxy all have a lot of options calls being bought. So there's a lot of options activity that is implying that there could be an increase in the price of these stocks. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot another large company that I think could be affected by this in British Petroleum BP. I'm sorry to my friends on the other side of the pond if you're watching this, you're like, whoa, Racky, why didn't you talk about BP? I'm going to look into the call options on, P on BP right now. Also, I know that I'm probably leaving out a lot of different oil companies that could be affected. Even oil field services could be affected like Schlumberger, Halliburton, etc. I know that I'm leaving out companies in like Australia. So if you have any companies that you think that I'm leaving out, please leave them in the comments below. Last but not least, BP. Sorry I didn't bring them up at the beginning, but now I'm talking about them. So hopefully you watched until the end. Here we have BP and I'm looking at massive amounts of call options. We got 10,000 versus 2,000, 14,000 versus 3,000. So watch this ironically be the one that actually performs the most. I'm glad that I thought about them. We got BP that I'm also looking at, so add them to the list of potential plays due to this shipping fiasco. As always, if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe. I appreciate you guys being here and look forward to seeing you again in the future.